One of the frequently asked questions all the time is, can I use solar panels of different wattages? This is 550 watt solar panel and right here is 250 watt solar panel. Now, the big question is, can I combine these two solar panels together in the same configuration? Is that something I should even contemplate? Connecting these two types of solar panel, 550 watt solar panel with 250 watt solar panel or any other solar panel like 250 watt solar panel it doesn't matter if it's 440 watts it still doesn't matter if it's 300 watts it doesn't matter if it's 350 watts <laughs> it doesn't matter if it is 440 watts and all the way back here to 550 watts 550 watt solar panel with 250 watt solar panel is that such a good idea now this question stems from that situation of already using a 250 watt solar panel in your connection all right maybe you started with this one which is 250 watt solar panel when you started your solar journey at some point you've come into some money <laughs> good for you man and now they are recommending for you to use as some form of upgrade 550 watt solar panel all right but the big dilemma here is what do i do with the 250 watt solar panels that i already have i don't want to let it go and now you're wondering can you connect these two guys together in the same string i think it's a terrible idea thinking about it in the first place is very illegal <laughs> combining these two guys together and here's the reason why it's such a very bad idea for you to do that okay so if you combine 550 watt solar panel with 250 watt solar panel it's going to drag the entire output down and here's the reason both of them have different voltages and they have different currents all right take for instance this is 550 watt solar panel and the voc for this solar panel is 49 volts and the vmp which is the max voltage that you can get out of this solar panel is around 41 volts but let's come back to this guy for one minute but keep this in mind right this is 250 watt solar panel the voc for this solar panel is around 39 volts while the vmp which is the max voltage is 31 volts well let's leave the voltage for one second and focus on the current the current for this guy is 13.5 amps while the current for this other guy is 8.9 amps now you can clearly see that it has different currents and of course different voltages all right but here is what is going to happen when you connect the two of them together so when you have this connected together regardless of the wattage the system is always going to settle for the lowest current so it's going to settle for this particular current which is 8.9 amps i'm not recognizing this current which is around 13.5 amps thereby dropping the output of this solar panel so this solar panel will never be able to work at its maximum operational capacity all right which is 550 watts now let me tell you how bad it is if these two were to be stringed together this output is going to drop to as much as 350 watts as opposed to giving you 550 watts so that's why it's such a very terrible idea because the system has been designed to always settle with the lowest output detected and in this case the lowest output detected here is going to be the output of the 250 watt solar panel so it makes a disservice of this huge wattage and this is recommended to you as some form of upgrade <laughs> all right which is a beautiful idea because this is going to give you a lot of room on your roof all right and at the same time it's going to house a lot of wattage in the same space so it's such a very good idea that you had to upgrade with this one but the big dilemma is what do you do with this after all this explanation it still doesn't solve your problem what am i going to do about these 250 watt solar panels am i just going to throw it away and especially when you're very sentimental about this guy you're very attached to it because he was really there for you and you're saying i don't want to let it go i just want to keep it but what do i do I understand your frustrations my friend so this is exactly what you're gonna do but you definitely have to buy me a beer first I'm waiting for it man <laughs> so this is what you can do all you need to do is very simple group all of this guy and connect them into one bank all right so run a parallel wire for it and then connect it to a separate charge controller so that means you definitely have to provide a separate charge controller and connect it to this group 
of solar panels. So you had a lot of 250 watt solar panels, all right? And you don't want to throw them away. Group them together, connect them together and form a separate line for it and connect them to a separate charge controller. Make sure you do not connect it together with the bigger wattage, which is 550 watts. All right, so essentially the same thing is going to happen to the 550 watts. You're also gonna group it together. Make sure it goes with its kind. The 550 watts can only be connected with 550 watts. So it maintains the same voltage, the same current, the same VMP, the same VOC, everything. All right, so in that way, you're getting the same operational capacity of each of the solar panel. So you definitely have to provide a separate charge controller to connect all of these together. So the new solar panels that you're introducing into the fleet, which is the 550 watt solar panel, has to be connected all in one group. Then you have a bank for it, connect it separately from a parallel line for it and connect it to a separate charge controller. Same thing goes for this guy. It's gonna be connected to its bandwagon. The entire 250 watt solar panels that came with it, all right, it's gonna be connected together. All right, so in that way, you get to keep your 250 watts while upgrading to 550 watts. And that way you'll be able to increase the amount of energy that you have in your yield. But when you connect them together, as opposed to increasing the amount of energy that you have in your fleet, you are definitely doing the opposite, which is decreasing the amount of energy. So that's it. So it's only gonna cost you buying extra wires and extra charge controller and everybody's happy, right? Thank you guys so very much. That's very much we can take today. My name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. If you haven't subscribed, always remember that's how you support this work that we're doing and we're so very grateful. Don't forget to share, don't forget to like, do not forget to comment. All right, see you guys in the next video.